Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to solve this question. This is uh, one of the previous uh, year's question. This was asked in December 2021 in uh, BCS 12 question paper, basic max question paper. Uh, we will see how to solve this. I hope you have already watched the concept video. Uh, you know the steps. So we are just going to directly solve it here. So what is the answer? So first you write the given statement. Given statement. Whatever statement is given, just write that directly. 1 plus 4 plus 7 up to 3k minus 2 is equal to half into k into 3k minus 1. This is your first given statement. I will mark it as equation number 1. Now, we have to uh, do our three-step solution. That is base step, induction hypothesis and inductive step. So, what is the base step? Put n equals to 1 and uh, left-hand side, we will get only the first term. Right-hand side, in this uh, way for this variable, you take it as 1. Here, we don't have n. They have given k in the question itself. So, just take that k only. Put k equals to 1 in equation 1. So, whatever is the first term, you write that. So, in this 3k minus 2, if you substitute k as 1, you are going to get 1 only. So, you don't have to do that. Don't have to waste time doing uh, substituting k equals to 1 in this. Instead, just write this first number. That is what you are going to get in the LHS. 1 is equal to, in the right hand side, wherever k is there, you substitute 1. So, I have k 1 into, 3 into 1 is 3 minus 1. So, now half into 3 minus 1 is 2. This and this gets cancelled. You get 1. So, therefore, LHS equals to RHS. Given statement. Given statement is true for, uh, instead of writing n equals to 1, we will write k equals to 1. Okay. For k equals to 1. This is our base step. It is done. Next is our induction hypothesis. That is, we will assume that, assuming uh, that equation 1 is true, equation 1 is true or you can write given statement is true. For some, n equals to k is what we usually write. So, here I will write k equals to any variable you take. n, we have now, what is the uh, procedure? Whatever statement is given, just rewrite that as it is. In place of k, you have to substitute n. 1 plus 4 plus 7 up to 3n minus 2 is equal to half n into 3n minus 1. This is our second equation. This is our second step. That's it. So, whatever given statement is there, just substitute this variable with something else and that is your second statement. Now, third statement is you need to take the next value. Uh, adding, what is the next value? See, here we are keeping on adding values that has uh, the next value you keep on adding, right? So, every value is of this format, 3n minus 1. So, adding the next term. What is the next term? See, for every number, add 3 to get the next term, right? 1 plus 3 is 4 plus 3 is 7. So, for this number also, you have to add the next term. So, what is next term? So, we have 3n minus 2. With that, I need to add 3. So, that gives you 3n plus 1. This is your next term. So, add next term 3n plus 1 on both sides of equation 2. Always add the next term. So, suppose if you have uh, sum of natural numbers 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n, then you should add next number which is n plus 1. If it is 1 plus 3 plus 5, uh, all the odd numbers, odd numbers are of the form 2n minus 1. So, for the next term, you should write the next uh, in place of n, you should take n plus 1. Okay. So, by taking n plus 1, we will get uh, 3n plus 1. So, that is 3n minus 2. Plus 3 is the next term, which is 3n plus 1. Now, whatever is there in equation 2, rewrite that. But in both the sides, you have to add this term 3n plus 1. 3n minus 2. Up to this, you have in the LHS. With this, add 3n plus 1. 
equals to whatever is there here write it uh, as it is half into n into 3n minus 1 plus 3n plus 1 so once this is done next you have to simplify the right hand side before you simplify right hand side you need to first find out what is the last step how does the last step look like so this i have told you in the uh, main video itself in place of k you substitute n plus 1 see how the answer is going to be so it is half into in place of k you take n plus 1 in place of this 3k that is 3 into n plus 1 it is 3n plus 3 minus 1 which will be uh, 3n plus 2. Okay, this is what you should be getting. n plus 1 into 3n plus 2 is what you should get. Now, you should see how to simplify the right hand side to get this answer. Half is there as it is. Let's not disturb that. Now, half into uh, n into 3n minus 1 plus 3n plus 1 is there. So, this needs to be uh, simplified. So, what we will do is half is there only for n into 3n minus 1. Uh, let's take LCM and uh, let us multiply this. Uh, now, uh, by taking LCM, we get uh, half is there here. This is uh, n into 3n minus 1. Here also I will multiply. If I have to multiply half, then I need to, I, I mean, I'm dividing by 2 and multiplying by 2. So, this becomes same. So, now if I take half common from these two terms, I will have n into 3n minus 1 here, 2 into 3n plus 1 here. Understand how I am simplifying. I want this format half into n plus 1 into 3n plus 2. So, n plus 1 and 3n plus 2 is not there here to take it out as common. So, I am first uh, taking out half as common. If I have to take half common, in this term it is not there. So, I am multiplying uh, and dividing by 2. So, I can use this half to take out as common. So, I have taken half common. Here I have this. Now, simplify this. We cannot take anything common. We will have to multiply this and uh, uh, factorize. So, this is going to be 3n square minus n plus 2 into 3n is 6n. Uh, plus 2 half into 3n square plus 6n minus n is plus 5n plus 2. Now we will factorize this. We take first and last term 3 into 2 is 6. I uh, have to divide this into two factors such that when I uh, multiply I should get 6 and when I add I should get 5 which is 3 and uh, 2. Okay, when I add, I get 5. When I multiply, I get uh, 3. So, once you find this, now we will split this 3n square. 5n can be split and written as 3n and 2n plus 2. Now, we will take uh, 3n common here. From the first two terms, I take 3n common. You will get n plus 1. From these two terms, we will take 2 common. We will get n plus 1. Now, n plus 1 is common in these two terms. Take it out as a common factor. Now, from this, we have 3n. And here, we have plus 2. This is what we wanted, right? We have it in half into n plus 1 into 3n plus 2 format. Okay. Therefore, given statement given statement is true for k equals to n plus 1. This is your conclusion of third step. Now you have to write the final conclusion. Thus, given statement is true for all values of k. Is true for all values of k. That's all is the solution. Uh, it is uh, looks lengthy, but it is not. And it's an easy one. As I had explained in the concept video also. Uh, given question, just write it as it is. Mark it as equation number one. 
and then uh, uh, substitute k uh, k or n whatever is given take it as one and left hand side you will have only this first term right hand side here you substitute that you will get it as equal make sure you write the statement and then you are assuming that equation one is true for some random variable and the same statement you have to rewrite it again by replacing this variable with the new variable now next find out what is the next term and that is where your practice lies once you know what to add add it on both the sides see here we have added we have written the same statement in the lhs plus this one so whatever is there here write it as it is plus this term so once we add this term on both the sides next we need to simplify so just before simplifying make sure you are very clear with your final step that uh, you want in the answer and then do the simplification so that you get that particular uh, step that you have already written okay and then finally write it as a uh, given statement is true for k equals to n plus 1 therefore it is true for all values of k uh, so this uh, is the solution for the given question and uh, uh, please keep watching for uh, more such videos video solutions of previous year question papers see you in the next video bye bye